Victorian Zone with Jeremiah Josie. Another dimension, a dimension of sound, a dimension of sight, a dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You just crossed over into the Thorium Zone. Now, I'm going to talk more detail about why Thorium is so important while we go through this beautiful part of the countryside. So thorium, if you don't know, is a is a fissile material. Actually that's not true. It's a fertile material. Thorium is a fertile material which needs a little bit of a bump to get it into fissile mode, at which point when you get enough of it together it will go critical, meaning it'll keep itself hot. That's the, the long and short of it. This is all about making rocks hot. That's what fission's all about. Really magic stuff, really. So we have two materials on the, in the planet. One is uranium. Bit of a brick, actually. One's uranium, one's thorium. Naturally occurring materials which can be coaxed into staying hot by themselves. Uranium has been used for a long time because it also produces plutonium, which is a, a, a uh, not found on Earth. It's not a natural substance, although it is a something. Is it is a natural material, but you can't find it naturally on on uh, on planet Earth. We have to make it ourselves, and it makes a really good bomb. So, back in the 1940s and 1950s, when they were working all this out, they realised that if we that if we use uranium fuel cycles, fuel cycle for our energy production, we'll be able to make weapons. And so that's the world we live in today. Thorium, on the other hand, does not produce a material worthy of turning into a bomb, which is really, really cruel. So the proponents of thorium even went further and discovered that if they put thorium into liquid form, hence why we talk a lot about liquid fission thorium, that's our catchphrase, liquid fission thorium, then you get almost all of the energy being released from that thorium, and that's pretty magic stuff, because one small amount, probably, that's actually too much, that's probably too much thorium for my entire life, my entire life, of energy requirements could be in half the size of this rock I've just picked up if it were thorium and I were converting it into energy using an appropriate thorium burner. So liquid fission thorium is the catchphrase. It is really the best proven technology on the planet. It was investigated thoroughly along with many many other uh, methods of Fission, again making rocks hot, uh, back in the 1940s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and it was abruptly cancelled when the powers that be discovered just how good it really is. There would be no oil industry today if we had liquid fission thorium. There would be no coal industry today if we had liquid fission thorium. There probably wouldn't even be an industrial military complex. No, we'll always have that. I don't think we'll get rid of that for a long time. But at least we wouldn't have nuclear weapons as prolific as they are now. And we wouldn't have the, the, the rouge, the ruse of solid fission uranium, which is the alternative to liquid fission thorium. Solid fission uranium well, that's what you use to make your plutonium. And, well, 10% of the world's electrical energy comes from this process now, so it's you know, doing a pretty good job. But it's more or less used as a cover to hide the fact that you actually have the technology to make plutonium as well in whatever your country is, uh, you know, 
producing this energy from solid fission uranium. So I hope that makes it a little bit clearer on why thorium, liquid fission thorium to be precise. It's a short video today and we'll have more uh, later. We'll have some interviews with special guests who are experts in the subject. Uh, I've been studying the material for decades, entire lives as well. And we're also going to be talking about the other aspects of a thorium economy, what it actually means, what does a high density energy form mean for the planet. Now, I might spend a bit of time talking about that now. Actually, no, I won't. I'll save that for the next video and I'll talk about EROI for a little bit. Bye for now.